Hi, my name is Eitan Adar, and this is a very brief introduction to the Visit Cards system. Visit Cards is a design workshop that takes about 80 to 90 minutes. Often it will be led by an instructor or an organizer that will do this, but even without one, hopefully you should be able to run this exercise by yourselves. The exercise is multi-phase. You're going to go through this procedure in your group um, and individually of declaring the goals given some specification, producing lots and lots of different options to play with, and then bringing them all together. It's very clock driven, so there's time limits on every step. This will encourage you to think quickly and go through as many choices as you can, but make progress. And by the end, you should have a complete design if you follow um, all the instruction and, and the time limits. We're going to ask you to document as you go. So often you will be given a, like a Google slide deck or something like that, where you will take screenshots of your work as you go. So you'll be able to go back and refer to it later on for other activities. Don't worry about following everything. We're gonna give you a cheat sheet um, that will make this easy. So even if the instructions seem complicated right now, the second time that you'll do this, you'll be an expert, but you'll also have this cheat sheet that will help you through it. So step zero, first step, um, even before we're gonna start the exercise, introduce yourselves to your group. This is gonna be important, especially if you don't know everyone in your group. Say hi, just very quickly introduce yourselves. Then make a copy of the Google slide deck that we've provided and share it with everyone in your group and the team running your workshop. That means everyone can add their images or look at them after the fact. Step one, you'll be given a document that basically describes a specification of what we would like you to target in this particular exercise. So it might be to design something for a um, air traffic controller. Okay. We might give you, um, any amount of information or very little information and you're going to have to look at this and basically make decisions about what you think is the most interesting and important part. So read the specification, you have about 10 minutes, mark it up as you go, sheets of paper um, or find a write on, start sketching if you have some ideas, but basically start reading and marking up the specification. As you do this, you'll also be given blank domain cards. Domain cards are descriptions of tasks that you think are important for the analyst to be able to do or the end user to be able to do when using the system that you're done with. So you will describe the very high level goal of the visualization that we would like you to target, but your goal is um, going to be much more constrained and going to be a group decision. But for now, pick three interesting domain cards, three interesting tasks that you think are interesting to pursue and add those um, in and write those in. At the end of the step, you will have your marked up spec sheet and um, the three domain cards. Don't share them yet, that comes next. Um, but before you do that, you're going to take the domain cards we've created for this particular task. These are things that we think might be interesting and split those equally among everyone in your group. At this point, you'll have some cards that are yours and some cards that we've created. We're going to ask you now individually again to pick your favorites. Okay, so this is the step. You have uh, domain cards that you've created, domain cards we've created, and you're going to pick individually the three best in your pile. So at the end, each of you should have the three that you like the best. Don't share them yet. That comes next. This is step 2.2. This is where we're first going to start working in our groups. The goal here is to find four domain cards, four tasks that we would like to pursue as a group. Okay, so you have about eight minutes to do this, so it's very quick. You're going to have to pitch your ideas of which you think are most interesting and most important, and then come to a de decision about the four that you want to pursue for the rest of the exercise. So if each of you has three, the goal is to share and with your group, pick the four that you like the best. So at the end, you should have four domain cards, and these will be the things that you keep in mind as you do the design exercise. Next, we're going to go back to an individual activity. This is the first sketch round. You're going to have about 10 to 12 minutes to do this. The goal here is to create as many sketches as you can, as fast as you can, and there's no extra credit for neatness, um, basically of the solutions that you might implement to solve the domain tasks that you've agreed on as sort of the important ones for this workshop. So make as many sketches as you can. Um, each individual visualization doesn't need to solve everything. You can later worry about combining them, adding interactivity and so on. Just as many ideas as quickly as you can. If you get stuck, we've also provided inspiration cards. These are idea cards that you can look through um, to basically jog your memory about different visualization techniques and other um, visual encoding ideas that might help you um, in designing. And again, just flip through them. Um, they might inspire you, they might not, but they're there for your use. 
Once you've produced as many sketches as you can, probably in those 12 minutes, we're going to go through a round where we share our ideas with the group. So basically all of you will pick out your first best idea and you will share it and you'll basically go around the table in a round robin fashion giving the idea to the other people in your group. This is not the time to critique, this is just the time to present the high level idea. If you have more time, you can share your next best idea. When you're done with this, we're going to have you do another very quick sketch round, which will take about five minutes. You're going to produce a new set of sketches, and here you're totally welcome to steal and recombine ideas from your teammates. And again, fast and messy is good. Do this as quickly as you can. Always keep the domain cards in your head, so the ones that you've picked as sort of high-level tasks. Make sure that the visualizations you're producing are sort of addressing the concerns that you highlighted earlier. But again, as quickly as possible, as many ideas as you can. In step 4.2, you're going to be given another five minutes to basically share your best ideas, again, in a round-robin fashion. So just go around the table sharing what you think are your best ideas. At this point, we're going to stop our kind of group activity of sharing or our individual and group sketching exchange. And your goal now is to come up with a final sketch. So this is um, kind of the biggest chunk of time that you have. You have 20 minutes as a group to work on a coordinated consensus visualization that you all agree on um, that will be the thing that will solve the domain tasks that you've highlighted earlier. Okay, so spend the 20 minutes, produce these things on one sheet of paper. Um, we often give you very large poster sheets, um, but however you do it, make sure you agree on sort of the high level design. Just a few things to summarize. Make sure you're meeting your domain card goals. Basically, you've decided on what those um, objectives should be, so make sure that you're meeting them. Document as you go. This will be important for other things that we often do um, with this information. So take pictures of all the intermediate products, all the sketches, the cards that you've picked out, and so on. Take turns and be polite, very important, and be aware of the time. We'll often give you warnings, but you should be aware of how much time you have for different tasks. So this was a very brief introduction to visit cards. Um, again, you will be given a cheat sheet, so hopefully um, this will become easier and simpler the more you do this kind of exercise. Um, it's a lot of fun. At the end, you'll have a cool design that you think will address the problems of the specification. And after this, you will be given sort of a professional solution to compare your solution to, which is a kind of fun exercise. All right, and with that, thank you.